I am replacing a light fixture that has two sets of wires going to the fixture for the two light bulbs. My new fixture only needs one set of wires. What do I do with the extra wiring? Jim here. More than 20 years in the building industry. I need to ask you a few questions first. I need to be clear on exactly what you are asking and what you have before you. You had a light fixture that had to switches on the wall, each light in the fixture had its own switch? Now you have a light fixture that only needs one switch and you will have an extra set of wires that are controlled by an extra switch? The wires that are in the light fixture box, are they only energized when the switch on the wall is on? In other words, is there a set of wires in the box that have 120 volts on them when all switches are off? Assuming you have a way to test the voltage, if you could please answer these questions I could better answer your question. Thanks Jim. There is only one switch on the wall. Both lights are controlled by the same switch. They both come out of the wall at the same place, but the fixture that is there had to have two sets of wires to connect the two light bulbs. Can I somehow cap off the wires I don't need to connect the new light fixture? Can you tell us what color the wires are that are attached to the switch? And exactly how many of them there are? When you say two wires at the light, does the wiring go to another light to control it? Thanks. Hi Jim, there are two wires connecting the light bulbs, one white and one black. They come out of the wall together and then they added another white and black wire to connect the light fixture. I think I can just disconnect these additional two wires that were spliced together, can't I? Okay, but can you tell me what color wires are attached to the light switch? and how many of them there are. It makes a big difference if the white and black are attached to the switch, or if it has two blacks attached to the switch. Thanks. Reply to Joseph's post, white and black wires are attached to the switch. Okay what you have here is a switch loop. That means that you have an incoming 120V line into the ceiling light fixture box. You need to make sure that your light's white wire is attached to that wire's white wire. Then you will see another cable, white and black wire, that goes to the switch. You take the black wire from the incoming line and attach it to the white wire going to the switch, then the black wire from the switch goes to the black wire of the light. If you take and push that wire off to the side, you will not have any power for your lights. It is needed. Here is a diagram of how the switch loop works to help you better visualize this. Hope this helps you out. If you need further assistance with this question or just need further clarification, please let me know. Have a great day. I am a verified state licensed electrical contractor, not an internet researcher. I will work hard to give you the exact answers you seek and work you through any problem you may have. Please press the accept button if my answer has helped. This is the only way I get paid for providing my services. 100% customer satisfaction is my goal. Joseph 39518.5610662384 Okay what it seems to me you have is that you have left part of the old fixture in the junction box. Or you have just cut the wires from the old fixture and you now have two black wires and two white wires that continue up into the box where they join to the actual wire that is coming from the switch etc. If you are at the junction box that is in the wall where the old light fixture was then there should be only two wires that the old fixture was fastened to. 
plus a ground, green on the fixture possibly and bare from the junction box, look in the box and see where the wires come from the inside of the wall through the small holes in the back or side of the junction box. If there is only one set of wires coming through the holes then you need to remove the wire nuts that hold the two blacks to the single blank and the wire nut that hold the two whites to the single white, then you will have only the two wires that you want for the fixture. But, if you have two sets of wires coming through the back or side of the box you have two reasons possible. A third reason that would not be normal and I will explain below. First the two sets of wires can be because you have another light fixture that is turned on and off with the same switch. In that case you would take the black and black from the box and join them with the one from your new fixture and the white and white from the box and join them with your white from the new fixture. Then fasten all three of the ground wires together, green or bare. Second is that one of the sets of wires in your junction box is hot and neutral from the supply, it is energized as long as the breaker that controls the circuit is on in your main distribution panel. Then the other set of wires simply, is connected to each side of your switch. If this is the case, with the light switch on the wall turned off, you will measure 120 volts on one set of black and white wires. If that is the case then you will need to fasten the black wire from the pair with the 120 volts on it to the white wire that goes to the switch. The remaining two wires will be connected to the light fixture. White to white black to black. All grounds joined together green and bare, hope this gets you through it. If it does it please push accept. If not feel free to ask for more help. Thanks Jim. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.